Hello, Simvicta. Hello, Northern Lion. Happy Wednesday midweek to you, sir. You're down by one with a fantastic win on Monday. Thank you. I'm going to try to stem the tide here. but I hope that the tides overrun the beaches of Sinvicta <laughs> and uh, wash away all the castles made of sand. <laughs> Three. That's not, that's that sounds like some kind of oh. some kind of like trance like D and B song or something like that. <laughs> uh, three, two, one. Good luck. Good luck. Have fun. Either that or it's a Dave Matthews band. Song I was gonna say the only D and B I know. Dave, Dave Matthews, Matthews band. band. Uh, this looks insanely Canadian. Yeah, I've already seen the blue <laughs> street sign. Uh, uh, I was waiting for the Canadian flag. Something with a, a yellow Volkswagen Beetle combined with that like ranch style house just. Screams Canada to me. It's a weird. Oh, you know what? I do not think it's Canada. <laughs> what kind of wood is that? This uh, is. It was, it was not Canadian. The only, the only other, the only other place that we see blue road signs like that is New Zealand. I think that might be what we're looking at. I think that might be what we're looking at. But I don't know. I mean, Canada, New Zealand, what's the difference? Maybe it is Canada. I don't know, dude. This is weird. I, I feel like I'm seeing a part of my own country that doesn't look right. I think I'm getting bamboozled here. Excuse me, ma'am. Uh, there's, is... a, <laughs> there's just a, a freaking dead end with a basketball hoop. Yeah, I saw that. And honestly, to me, that screams Canada. <laughs> yeah, an empty basketball hoop, nothing else. What did, what you driving your bike on the grass? What the heck is? Are we in like Mennonite country? Probably not. There are there's a lot of cars. <laughs> Dude, I'm genuinely freaking out. Canada and New Zealand. Could be the same country <laughs> if you if you're outside of like a major city. This has got to be Canada. Yeah, I don't. I'm not. I don't. I don't know for sure. Well, no, I take I, I take that back. I I know for sure where we are. I I also know for sure now, but okay. I'm still kind of losing it. I'm like, what the hell? What are these city names, dude? Like, I'm not going to say them just in case. But I am like, I've never heard of these cities before in my life. I've heard of two of them, but I'm not associating <laughs> them with... Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, now I know what you're talking about. <laughs> Same. That's <laughs> When you said you knew some of them, or you knew two of them, I was like, what is this guy talking about? <laughs> but you, well, you see which one I'm talking about now. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I... I do, I do. But I'm I'm still like I don't know, this is weird. This is a weird one. I'm all, I've gotta be I've gotta be in the right province, right? This this ain't my part of the country, quite frankly. No, but you were like Wait, where I thought you were I thought you were from this side of Canada. You were born on this side. Um, I don't, uh, I mean, look, there's, <laughs> trying to think of how to phrase it. <laughs> All right. People from the Toronto area look at the rest of Ontario as backwoods yokels. And then yeah. people from like, you know, eastern and western Ontario look at people that are from northern Ontario as backwoods yokels. So for me, this is kind of yokel country. Not that there's anything wrong with that. I've, you were you got me by uh, a sixty-four. Honestly, I'm I'm impressed with your inferences there. Was I was it looking. I was looking for County? eighty-four. Do what? Was it was it Huron County? Huron? No. I I went towards uh, Quebec because I saw some French names, but then realized that the signs were not 
all blue, and then I found that sign that said Zurich, and then yeah. 84, and then I was just looking in the map for 84 in a square. It's kind of amazing. <laughs> I I had the oh, the yeah. fact that it said Huron County. I was like, okay, I'm not. I didn't. It's got to be near Lake Huron. That makes that would have made a lot a lot of sense had I seen it. Um, but I was going off of the fact that there's a French, a couple of French sounding names, and they're in blue. And I was like, all right, well, this has got to be Quebec. Then I saw the road sign. And I was like, eh, this doesn't look like road signs in Quebec. And then I just looked at this. Look to the left. Just followed it down. Um. Now this is definitely Quebec here. <laughs> There's a lot of uh, people. And no road markers, which I kind of hate. I lot. I respect it. You know, it's like, hey, you know where you're going. You don't need any help. Okay. I mean, there's like, there's not even like a divider line. Who needs it? <clears throat> You you stay on your side, <laughs> I'll stay on my side. Okay, that, that works out pretty well, usually. Mm. I think this is... I think we're looking at a Nairobi situation, like the outskirts of Nairobi. It's what definitely what, what is appealing to me right off the bat. But the only thing I'm thinking is, I'm like, why are the... None of the buses have airbrushed American celebrities on them? Yeah, that's the one dead giveaway that's not Nairobi. It's a good good sign, there's honestly. A, there's a lot of uh, a lot of trees down, like like for for us being, I, I guess we're not technically in the city proper, maybe, but like there's just a lot of freaking there's a lot of trees, like in, in like in between, like all the houses and stuff. You know what I mean? I think we're in a different part. Oh, maybe okay. no. Okay, I think I see what you're. I think I see what you're getting at. Hang on there. I'm picking up what you're putting down. Okay. Man, I'm going to tell you, this one's going to be a little bit of a shot in the dark. I don't have a good idea outside of the continent. No. Yeah, I, well, I mean, it's, this continent's kind of big. It is. It is. It's large. Yo, step up, Johnny Walker Red Label. It's the Johnny Walker Ford Econoline van. You ever see those Red Bull cars where you where you live? Yes, I have seen those. Those actually. Are, they're I didn't know that they were uh like a worldwide thing. There's a weird like smart car with a oversized Red Bull can on it. You know what I'm thinking. What's up with that? It gives you it gives you wings. It it does give you wings supposedly. But if you have wings, what do you need a car for? You know what? Clearly, false <laughs> advertising. <laughs> <laughs> or maybe they just want to be inside. Yeah, I mean it's true. You gotta like if you think about flying. Just yeah. Imagine if you could fly. Like just you're just a human. You have the power of flight. Yeah. You would think that you'd probably get kind of hot, wouldn't you? Like flying, uh, I guess it depends on what, it, what like your altitude, yeah. elevation, and now and altitude speed, you are. yeah, yeah. But you, I would think you get kind of sweaty and hot. I mean, there's no air conditioning. Well, it depends. You are know? you flying via, um, like, are you just summoning the spirit of flight, or are you flapping your arms? You are summoning the spirit of flight. I think you get cold. I think you get mighty cold. I would think out in the sun, you just get hot. Dude, I I wasn't sure if it was if it was Kenya or Uganda. I just put us on the border there. There's so. a good choice. I got you by five hundred and sixteen. It's a good choice. I wasn't conv I wasn't I w like I wasn't bold enough to to claim Nairobi because it didn't. We really didn't see anything that made it think Nairobi. Yeah, I didn't see like a Jay Z <laughs> airbrush. Drink, like, uh, yeah, <laughs> DJ Khaled. I saw the Cleveland, there was like a Cleveland, like, primary school there or something like that. And uh, I was like, well, if this is Nairobi, they would have had Nairobi on there. Mm, you're probably right. Did but it, like did it for a second, 
did you think it could be Cleveland, Ohio? Uh, come on. I mean, look, I'm not saying that the city we were in was not that good. All I'm going to say is that uh, Cleveland oh. does have a river that caught on fire one time. And it does rock. That's what Drew Carey said, but... Well, this is uh, it's an interesting one. Oh. <laughs> I don't understand. Did you see the picture that says, take care of nature and nature will take care of you? No, that sounds terrifying. Uh, I'm looking at this... I'm looking at this rock. Huh. I'm I'm very confused. This has the makings of somewhere we've never been before, Northern Lion. I actually agree. Let me put it this way. I saw a, a language and I am mighty confused. <laughs> uh because it could be perhaps a language I've never seen before. Or it could be two languages I've seen before, but could not, I would, like, the mix of English in this language is kind of throwing me a little bit. Something else that's odd about this one is the the flora and fauna we're seeing here. Because, like, at times it looks South African and even Australian, but also South American. But then there's also like sand and like tropical stuff. Dude, I I am extremely confused, but also intrigued, right? Yeah, I, I kind of just want to see where we are. Like, I, I'll tell you straight up, I agree with you 100%. I do not know whether we are in, I don't think we're in South America. I'll tell you that in full honesty. No, no I. I almost can guarantee you we're not in South America. I, I you know what? I'm not going to say what I was going to say because I think, I think I know maybe not where we are, but I think I've narrowed it down a little bit. Mm. But have we been here before? Um, I do not know. I bet the answer is yes, though. Ah, uh, nothing like, uh... You're like, oh, I'm just gonna click a couple more times, and then you see just... Flat horizon. <laughs> Stretching as far oh. as the eye can see. I, uh... I can't even freaking find it now. I got 13 seconds left. I wish you uh, the best of luck. You got me by 800. Really? We were in Sri Lanka? Dude, I, I thought the language could have been whatever the language we see in Sri Lanka because I always get it confused with Thai and Cambodian, which is what this looked like. I mean, I did see that there was a rock... I put it, by the way, I put myself in Christmas Island just for oh. on a lark. <laughs> but like I saw like okay, I saw the the language that looked Hawaiian, right? And, okay, okay, yeah, yeah. And I was like thinking Sri Lanka, but then like but the freak but the the surroundings didn't tell me anything like it it didn't look like Sri Lanka to me, clearly. But, Dude, I I yeah. hear you. I had us in Botswana for about two and a half minutes. Uh, <laughs> you're in Botswana. Then I had a, I saw a sign that was like the European Union is conducting a project here to like <laughs> rebuild uh, roads for affected families from who have been affected by conflict, and I'm like, where are we, dude? <laughs> what's your What's your score right now? Ten five sixty one. I'm at ten one forty six. Wow, we are close. Yeah, you made up a lot of ground with that one. We are close. Now, what the heck is this? Okay. Mm. Very interesting indeed. I feel like I probably shouldn't be going away from the city. We haven't been here in a while. 
Oh, you know where we are? I know the region we're in. And we haven't been in this region for, for a minute. Let me leave it at that. I think I've gone the wrong way. Please, please move around. me. Please move me faster. I understand we probably have low availability of memory right now due to playing Microsoft Flight Simulator earlier today, but why is my Geo running at two frames a second? Yeah, I'm not having any issues. And like, would you describe it as looking triple A? Yeah, I mean, it looks it looks okay. When you click, does it like, does it hitch or does it very smoothly bring you in? Uh, very smoothly. Very smoothly. Yeah. Like 60 FPS geo. Uh, yeah. All right, I got to restart my browser after this, maybe. Okay. I have been putting off a Windows update for like two weeks, too. Not, not <laughs> yeah, that don't I... Do the, don't do that. No, but like, I mean, I trust me, I hear you for like security stuff, but... I'm also like, there's about a 10% chance every time you get a Windows update that it breaks something, so. I've seen this city before, but I don't remember where it's been. New York? Yeah. It's in a lot of movies. Men in Black, Spider-Man. Oh, it's, uh, it's Vilnius? Vil Vilnui? Pretty sure it's Vilnius. Hmm. That is, uh, that, that rings a bell for sure. I don't know. Ah, a minute left. Do you know it's, roughly it's the? Of, it's one of these. I know. I know it's one of these. One of these. Does this ring any bells? Yeah. What? 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 This? What? What you got? Uh, I can't tell you. Did you see a top level domain or something? I did not. And but I do know where Vilnius is. I do know where Vilnius is, yes. Oh, okay. I mean, I'm just I'm doing a lot of a map scanning right now, but it's just hopeless cuz I'm not I don't even know if I'm in the right if I'm in the right country. I'm just gonna leave it there. Hopefully it's a safe hopefully it's a safe bet. Ooh, it was a safe bet. I got you by seven hundred. I had this in Finland until you said Vilnius. And then I was like, This guy <laughs> let it slip. He let slip the the tools of the kingdom no uh, i was that was a it was a red herring brother. it was a ruse well you know I, I think i would have been closer in finland but still off by a lot so i was on the border of latvia and estonia the mm. the town that i was that i was looking for was was unga oh yeah yeah that was the town you thought you'd heard before yeah the town of unga yeah i remember seeing it before i just i didn't remember where it was what's your score at now I'm at 14,836. So you're up by about 300, almost exactly 300. This one's, this one's going to be tight. We have in the past had swings in this region. We we know the country 100% already. I would say that's, that's fair, yes. I mean, I saw the flag, so... <clears throat> There's a lot that would give this one <laughs> that would give this one away. <laughs> what do you think this is? Top foreman. In the in the inside of the O, there's it looks like a, a bow tie. Or not a bow tie, but it's like a dress down tie, formal tie, neck tie. Um <laughs> what? The name of the place it's like a, it looks like a swanky some kind of swanky club. And it's top four man. Top four man. Yeah. I hear that. Boy, boy, oh boy. Do I hear that. 
Especially twice on Sunday, am I right? Oh, which is today. Today, yeah. For those of you not watching but recording. Now, you're talking about probably undrinkable water. <laughs> you know. Uh, I'm not going to say it, but I think you probably <laughs> uh, you probably said it. I definitely said it. <laughs> Actually, I went to school with a uh, a woman who now lives in Vietnam. Uh-huh. And that's about it. I don't have anything else to say. Okay. Except she's always... She, look, don't get me wrong. I'm not suggesting that like living in Vietnam is like, you know, torture. But, you know, while I was still on Facebook, she would always be posting stuff about like, how much better Vietnam is than, like, you know, Canada. Right. And I'm like... You might be right. I mean, she's living in Ho Chi Minh City, which is like the the capital. And it is extremely modern. But I was like, I don't know. Like, it, <laughs> just... <laughs> I'm, I'm, I guess it, there's no way to say it without sounding like a little rude. But I was like, if you, I think if you look at like the human development indexes and stuff like that, it, it, you can understand why people would be skeptical. <laughs> But the same thing, and this is, you know, South Korea is like a very, very first world nation. But it all it would always happen, like, people would move to South Korea to teach English. And then immediately, right. like a week after landing, they're like, this is my favorite country ever. I want to live here for the rest of my life. America's got all these problems. So everything's perfect in South Korea. And then, you know, you're like, eh. <laughs> what are you leaving behind in, in uh, America or Canada or England or South Africa or whatever, that as soon as you land in a country where uh, you don't speak the language and can only communicate with 2% of the population, you go, ah, this is the place for me. All of my problems are instantly solved. That's that's what scares me a little, I guess. I'm a little bit worried that I'm I'm picking the wrong the wrong city here. Did you already guess? I did. Okay, well, I hope I'm picking the right city. It's down to it's down to two. It's gonna put us right smack dab. It was the wrong city. Oh no! Uh, you got me. You got me by twelve hundred. Saw a sign. I knew it. This this week, this week is just is just it. I felt it in my bones. Saw a sign that said Hue. I went to Hanoi. Mmm. I did not. I mean, I probably saw signs that said "hue," but uh, man, had the it's that was back and forth till the end. Northern Lion takes it again and evens up the series. That's a I, that's a big I one just, for sure. I just I told you, man. I feel it. Well, it's coming on. <laughs> I'm I'm happy to at least go uh, minimum two one this week and start to even it out. You know, when we see that there's like a two or three game gap, no big deal. But if it's a two or three game gap and then the person that's already in the lead has momentum that week, that's where you start to be a little bit frightened. Yep. Well, you got it. So we'll, it, uh, it all comes down to Friday. We'll see what happens on Friday. For now, uh, go check out our perspectives. If you're watching me, you can watch us both. If you're watching Sinvicta, you can watch us both via the ViewSync found at our respective subreddits. Thanks for watching. Click the like button if you enjoyed the episode. Subscribe if you want to see more in the future. But for now... Thanks for watching. We'll see you again uh, on Friday. See you later.